Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with all charity. So this is going to be a lesson to the point speaking on the cross that Yahweh Shai had to carry. You know, a lot of times we get ourselves uh, um, fed up at the situations that we got to go through, the afflictions that we got to carry. But the Lord himself, he had to go through those things as well. The scriptures speak about he was tempted all, in all areas and all points. So the thing that comforts us is reading these scriptures, reading this word, because this word is, is wisdom, all right? And what's the wisdom of, of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh Shai. So, and us to, to feel a comfort, we had to read the books. We had to read the words that are written in this book so that our spirit could be lifted up. Because we're entering into that straight gate. That straight gate isn't easy. All right, that straight gate isn't something... That's going to uh, um, make us smile all the damn time. All right? Because the scriptures even tell you, even in our, in our joy, we saw her as well. All right? Because we're still under uh, oppression. We're still not under our, our own kingdom, which is the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. So we're still this day in our captivity, whether... These people want to believe it or not, but we do. We understand that we're living in the last days, that Esau, Edom is still in rulership. So we can't, we can't get weak. We can't get, we can't doubt because the Lord went through these things and, and he himself prayed to the Heavenly Father that this cup of affliction could pass through him, man. And as we read here in Matthew 26, Verse, um, I'm gonna read in verse um, 37. As we read on, as we read here, we know that yeah, our Lord Himself uh, uh, um, desired not to go. To the things that the Heavenly Father had appointed unto him But it's needful Alright And it's a comfort unto our souls Because when we When we uh, 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 live our lives In this truth We could remind ourselves that The Lord went through it as well So this is Matthew 26 and 37 It says that he took with him Peter And the two sons of Zebedee And began to be sorrowful And very heavy so this is the this is our Lord that we're talking about. He was sorrowful and very heavy. All right, you know his spirit. Uh, 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 you know what what wasn't joyous. He wasn't in in, in a mood to uh, uh, rejoice. All right, he he he, he was he was uh, 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 you could say he was sad. The Lord was sad at this point. All right, this is our Lord. How shy that we're speaking. Verse 38 says, Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful. All right? Exceedingly sorrowful. Even unto death. So this is sometimes hey, we could feel like that. All right? You know, sometimes we will feel like that. All right? We, we, you know, even Paul said it, man. I'm between I'm, uh, both. I have a desire to depart and be with our Lord, but... At the same time, it was, it was necessary for us to be here so we could teach this word. So we're gonna have we're gonna have our lows. We're gonna have our lows, all right. But you know, I made a lesson the other day. You know, when 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 there's when when there's casting down, then there's lifting up. All right. So in order for us to feel rejoice and, and be uplifted in the spirit, all right, we gotta feel that low point. 
But I'm going to read it again. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Tear ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. So you got to think about the, your your own situation, man. If it's the will, Lord's will, then so be it, man. You just got to pray that to the Heavenly Father to give you the strength to go through it and, and endure it. Just like how Shia was praying here, all right, when he was when he was feeling uh, 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 exceeding sorrow, when he was low, all right. So these scriptures were learning for were le were written for our learning that we may have comfort in the scriptures. So a lot of times, hey, we we uh, um. When we get tempted, when we go through affliction, the scripture says it's not, it's not joyous, but grievous. But that's, the, but that's the will of the Lord that we got to go through these things. So that's comfort in that in itself, man. Because then the Most High is going to show his power and getting us back up again. All right? And, and, and putting that spirit in us again. Which comforts us because it lets you know that the Lord is, is dealing with us. All right. You know, I'm, I'm not going to make this lesson too long. I'm going to get one more scripture here in 2 Timothy 2 and 8. I'm going to start from, from, from uh, verse 8. It says, Remember that Yahushai HaMashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. When I suffered trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of Yahweh is not bound. Okay, so hey, there's nothing that 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 that, that could uh, take away from this word. Okay, and we got this word in us, so this word is always going to be a, a, a comfort unto us, an enlightenment. All right, verse ten. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Mashiach Yahushai with eternal glory. So we, we endure all these things for the elect's sake. Because Yahushai endured it and he received that eternal glory. So if we endure, if we believe that we're a part of the elect, we're, we're going to endure as well, man. If, we're, if we are the hopeful elect. So we then could receive that same glory that our, our Lord received. All right, because scriptures tell you that if, if we sorrow with with the heavenly Father, then we should rejoice. We should glory with the with uh, so like if we if we uh, 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 sorrow with our Lord Yahushai, then we should be glory with Him as well, man. Verse eleven: It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with Him, we should also live with Him. See. So hey, we put off that uh, our life, man. Scripture says, "He that he that uh, uh, find his life should lose it." All right. But scripture says, "He that loses his life for my sake shall find it." So we hey, we lost our life, man. All right, but but, it get, but at the same time, we're not missing we're not missing out on anything. All right, these these heathens, these Gentiles. Which I'm referring to two thirds of our people, all right? They look at us and, and think it's strange that we don't uh, 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 run with that same excess of right as they do. Pursuant to the book of First Peter, the fourth chapter, these, these people out here looked at let's they look at us funny that we're not uh, 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 acting like the way they are. But guess what? The Lord called us to be holy, man. The word holy means to be separate. So we're separate from, from the world, man. Alright? The world loves it. The world loves it loves its own, man. man. We're not of this world. We're of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our king and our savior, who died for our sins, who had low points as well. Alright? But it says verse 12: if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. So we're suffering with him so we could reign in the kingdom of heaven. 
All right. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, through the Son Yahweh Shai, puts things in our life. Or rather, He takes things from our life to keep us focused. And sometimes it, it, it could be uh, uh, um, losing certain things in, in, in life money or women. All right. Certain friends in the world that you thought were friends. So, so the Lord keep you your eyes single and focus in, in the prize, man. And that, that's that love that the Lord has towards us. Because hey, the most high he's he he's gonna he's he's a tough teacher. Sometimes our our minds aren't always right. And it takes the, the will of the Lord for us to understand why we go through these things. Because yeah, if it wasn't through the will of the Lord, uh, we would we would uh, go astray. If it wasn't for that chastisement, we will, we will go a different way route that will, that will potentially lead us to uh, destruction. All right. So verse thirteen: If we believe not, yet he abide faithful; he he cannot deny himself. And so whether. Whether if we believe or not, man, the, the 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 word is faithful and true. So hey, there's no denying how we're shy, man. Hey, we could deny him, but yeah, he can. Yeah, he cannot deny himself. He he. Hey, this word is still gonna come to pass. All right, America is still gonna be cast down and destroyed. This empire that Esau Edom built. Which are these self-proclaimed white people? Their kingdoms up, all right. This devil, he, he he has bounds that he cannot pass, and it's evident. They're not they don't they no longer have that super pompous spirit on them no more. All right, they don't got that. They, they don't got nothing in glory no more, because they're still proud. But hey. It was says shameful spoon should be upon their glory. Everything they used to boast about uh, is becoming shameful unto them now. And they're, they're looked at this. They looked at everybody has their eyes on this devil as the enemy, as the reason why the world is in a pitiful, awful condition. It is why the animals are are, 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 are mourning, why the earth is being destroyed. So this to the, to the reign of Esau Edom is coming to an end, and that's the word of the heavenly Father being fulfilled, and, and you, you and that's something that cannot be denied. Okay. So verse fourteen says, "All these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to to no profit, but to." But to the subverting of their hearts So hey You gotta put these things in, in, in your mind Alright And remember that Remember that end goal Remember that This is the walk that we chose to To follow Because we're followers of Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai went through that Went through that had to carry his own his own cross. Uh, he had to drink of that cup, the heavenly Father uh, uh, had for him. So, hey, the the ma the servant angry than his master. Yeah, what did Yahweh Shai uh, tell the sons of Zebedee? You should surely drink of this cup. So when we complain, and there's nothing wrong complaining. There's nothing wrong with. Uh, um, hey, we, we complain. We pray to that's 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 a prayer. There's nothing wrong with, with complaining, but at the same time, remember why we're going through this thing, man. And ask ask the heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit, through your house shy, to give us give us the strength to endure it. You know, so you know, Abba Rath said this lesson was edifying through Spirit and Party. How about Shimmy Al Shai? By Shimmer Crocodash, you know, just a little uh, I was 
you know, uplifting I wanted to go into. I was reading the book of Matthews and uh just, I was thinking of a lesson and I was I wasn't feeling the spirit. I was like, man, I'm just gonna do something else. And I started reading it and the spirit just hopped on me to do a lesson on on, on why the importance of remembering why we're going through this thing. Alright? Not only that we sin against the Heavenly Father, but also hey, our Lord went through this, so we got to go through it as well, man. All right, so with that, I'll be right to this one was edifying and uplifting. Till next time, I say shalom and abad babal.